Hello, this is TechStack here, and I have another modded Minecraft invention for you. Um, this is version 2.0 of my remote item on demand system. Um, as you can see, I've made quite a few changes to it. Um, it now acts more like a warehousing system where, uh, or a modernized warehousing system where there's a robot that goes through and picks the items off the shelves uh, in the proper row tier aisle type deal and deposits it back to the shipping location. Um, it does this by using a wireless turtle and a wireless computer. Um, the turtle is powered by a solar array hooked up to a battery box and a charging station so he has a pretty much an infinite supply of uh, power uh, once he gets established in there. Uh, this is because this is considered his home location inside the programming um, and he always returns to this on startup or after he collects an item. Um, the way he determines if where his home location is is based on the shape of the room. Um, this room could be any size um, and any height really um, and the way that he determines his home location is he automatically goes to the closest wall, turns right, goes to the end of that wall. When he picks up that he's got a block in front of him, he then moves one forward or one t block to the right and checks if there's a block there. In this case, there will be, so he'll continue on down that wall until he hits the end of this wall, do that process again. When he comes over here, he'll hit this glass block or the ender chest over here, go one to the right, turn, see there's an empty air block back here, and then just back up, and then uh, if he has any items, he'll de deposit them into the ender chest. So that's how he goes through and determines his home location. Very simple and straightforward. Um, like I said, works for any size and, and really makes this thing infinitely expandable. Um, let's get into the uh, showing off the user interface here. Let me just reboot my computer. Okay, and as you can see here, um, I've got a list of items on the first page here, up to 16 items per page. Um, and it lists the item name the row, column, and level that item exists within the system. Um, this system can handle multiple pages. If I hit an N here, you can see that I've got four more items on the next page. Um, let's go ahead and grab some cobblestone walls, number four there. Hit enter. He sends the commands over to the turtle, and he's already off going to select our item comes back, determines that's his home location, travels up to the top, and he'll stick that in the inner chest for us. And there it is waiting for us. As you can see, it's empty now. Okay, let's go pick up another item now. Uh, let's do uh, some arrows. Goes over, grabs the arrows, finds his home location, and puts them in the inner chest. And some birch samplings. Mix them up. There we go. Uh, this system really is uh, infinitely expandable. Uh, let me go ahead and close this out. And let's open up the file that's really controlling the uh, location of all these items and their names. Real simple file. Uh, the first field in the file here is the item name. Um, Followed by a tilde, the row, tilde, column, tilde, level. It's that simple. Each item has its own line in the file. Um, as you can see in here, I do have uh, a couple of uh, no items allowed. That's because that's this first location here below the turtle uh, where he needs to be able to travel vertically, so you really can't set any items in that location. Um, really no reason to have it in the file. I just put it in there for debugging purposes. Um, so I wouldn't accidentally call that row. Um, it's really that easy. Um, as you can see here, it will work if you want to try and label your levels, um, as I did here. Uh, this is level four at that below this uh, barrel here. Um, and it works with the signs. If he were to go through a server restart and run his uh, go home command to go back up there, he would hit this and, and see that as a valid block and not uh, think it's his home location and try and move up there and, and stop. Um, like I said, his fuel's resupplied by this uh, charging station. 
and I do have all of the pneumatic tubing uh, taken into account. It's obviously not hooked up to anything in my setup here, but in the real world, um, you, know, you could have everything sorting going into these barrels and he can still move around them um, to fill them. Um, you could, in theory, go in every single row. I did not in this uh, scenario because I wanted to have access to get in here and be able to manually fill barrels uh, by just walking in here and right clicking on them with the items in my hand uh, like this and it works just fine anyway this is tech stack here showing off version 2.0 my remote item on demand system um, I will likely be putting the code in the description of this uh, video or a link to it at least um, I would appreciate anyone that would like to subscribe to me to see some more of these type of things and any likes that you might want to offer up to uh, keep me doing this. Anyway, this is Tech Stack signing off. Have a good day. And this is my Let's Play series using the Feed the Beast uh, mod loader and we are playing on the Dire Wolf 20 pack. Behind the scenes we have a setup where we have a series of chests that would obviously feed off of a Hey guys, couldn't pass up an Enderman fight again. Oh, he even had diamonds on me.